Okay, now we're going to talk about cash discounts and payment terms. These are things that are going to incentivize us to pay early. Or to pay in cash instead of credit. You might have seen this before. You go to a restaurant and there's a cash discount of 5% if you pay in cash and don't use a credit card. So let's put not credit. This is good because it incentivizes our customers to do the things we want. When we write down payment terms that include our discounts, it looks kind of like this. 3-10. I'm going to write some more things here. N45. And there's some other stuff here. This means there is a 3% discount if you pay within 10 days. Otherwise, the net, that's where the N comes from, the net or everything, all the money is due in 45 days. Three ten and forty five. Three percent discount ten days. Net everything due in forty five days. Then we put some extra terms here if we need it. There's other abbreviations that you can always look up. So this bill is due in forty five days. I'm just gonna put a little asterisk here. Any discount is for goods only. Not on your tax or your delivery, etc. That goes to a third party. So you don't get a discount from the post office for paying early. Let's look at a sample invoice. Here we have an invoice. It's dated. It looks like it is dated May 12th, 2020. That's right around the time that I'm recording this video, coincidentally. And it is from BCIT, and it's to me, Amy Goldlist. It has some important things like addresses, BCIT's logo, uh, importantly, my customer ID. And over here, we've got our shipping method and our terms and our delivery date. This should not say 2016. Let's change that to 2020. First, let's look at these terms, 115N30. So let's interpret that over here. Actually, let's just write over here, 115N30ROG. 1% discount if paid within 15 days. Or, the whole thing is due in 30 days. The 30 days is from the receipt of goods. ROG stands for receipt of goods. You can look up different abbreviations. That's not super important for this class. It just means that if you don't get it until September, even though we ordered it in May, it's going to take us, we don't have to start paying until 30 days after September 16th, even if it took six months to ship. And it looks like we've got two calculators and five sets of course notes. Looking at this, you can see how much it costs, $41 per calculator. Multiply that by two, because there's two of those. And uh, course notes, $31. We multiply that by five, because there's five of those. We end up with $237. We add in our tax. We add in our delivery on top of that. And we end up with $30.44. Authorized by and date, I could sign this one myself, even though it's shipped to me. The important thing is this starts on September 16th, 2020. So it's due on October 16th, 2020, 30 days later.